Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me all right? Hopefully so. I see that the chat is rolling. And let me just tell you, this uh, Texas Border Guard game is... Um, I, I just started it up for the second time, uh, and I went to pause it to um, uh, get it ready for the stream and everything else. And I don't know why I'm suddenly... It, like, I don't know why I'm randomly getting a, a blow on me. But anyway, but uh, I, I had a big chuckle, and I'm sure you guys will whenever you see the uh, see the pause menu. Anyway, uh, before we get to that, I'm going to say hello to the chat. I see Sword Rush over on Rumble. Let me check on... Hold on, I think I found out... Oh, I should uh, say that I'm live, yeah. Here we go, I'm quote tweet this with live now all right very good now let me see if i can open up there is a way apparently to uh see the the chat on twitch or on not on twitch on uh twitter okay good and it's nice and muted so i can actually see you twitter if you were there watching for whatever reason uh first of all Thank you. And then second of all, you can now chat if you don't feel like leaving Twitter. I'm going to be uh, very neglectful of you over there in all likelihood, but we'll try. So on to uh, Rumble. Thank you, Sword Rush, for dropping links. Always appreciated. Uh, over on YouTube, we got Paladin Dragoon. Always good to see you. Yeah, Skull Fox Games. Yes, Texas Border Guard. Horizon Talker. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I mean these. I'm sure these aliens are illegal. I would assume so. Um, Oxen W, hello, hello, Herman P. Hunter. How do, I don't know what you're saying no to, but I I disagree. Um, let me see here. Make sure. I actually got my phone up here. Um. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I thought I had an important message that I needed to read, but it was not. Uh, Guilty Gearhead, howdy. Appropriate emoji for the game. Uh, Devin Wilson, hello, hello. Swift Sword Rush being helpful as always. Not a bad week. Always good. Jamie T, I, I'm going to show you something. Uh, we had a slight change, or I asked for a slight change on the artwork. Otherwise, got it locked in on yours. Making ice cream, that's good. All right, Big Thunker. Hello. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> yeah, Angelic Glow as I talk about the Texas Border Guard. Yeah, maybe it's a sign. All right. Yeah, I know. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do at all with the Twitter stuff. I just, it, it's there. So hypothetically, I should be able to see. Um, I don't know if I can, though. All right. So before we uh, get going, You'll see the pause menu in the background, and you'll get excited, as I am, uh, to play this wonderful game. Because, by the way, the game just starts. Whenever you start the game, it just goes. Uh, but in in the foreground, I'm going to have the uh, Anvil Magazine uh, issue 4 update, campaign update, uh, out here. So let me... No. Oh, crap. There we go. Uh, uh, why would that not be there? All right, all right. We're we're boomering our way forward. You may you may notice in the background a very in, a very helpful pause menu. It tells you exactly what you need to know, or to pause the game, or do things like adjust volume. Um. Anyway. But in the foreground, the more important thing, the uh, uh, finalized cover for issue four, uh, the only change that may happen is the helm is getting uh, color now. So when that happens, I may update the helm to be uh, filled in so he won't be black and white. It'll make the uh, Iron Age media pop a little bit more, but I'm not too concerned about that. So let me see if I can't. There we go. And we got some more line work from uh, the interior. This is from uh, 
uh, Natan Melendez. He's going to be doing a couple of uh, interior illustrations for us. Um, this is all the Coldest War. It's a uh, uh, kind of a military sci-fi um, set in the Land and Sea universe, which is uh, Blaine Lee Pardo's new um, kind of uh, uh, sci like early uh, sci-fi setting. It's uh, humans versus aliens. The aliens land in the sea as um I'm, i mean huge spoiler alert the land and sea series is basically about uh humans on the land versus the uh the fish in the sea so to speak the aliens and it's uh, a great series i highly recommend it but the short story takes place before all of that in the uh russian versus u.s war um and this is a story about one of the uh famous pilots uh getting uh, into some of the first action of the war uh, especially with this new rig. And let's see here. I'm, I'm just going to try and go through these pretty quickly. We got Night of a Cold Hunger. This is part one. I need to probably clarify that. But this is going to be a two-parter um, that is the will finish up in issue number five. Uh, once again, Torshin and Sharita uh, return to Anvil Magazine. And we've got another fantastic tale uh, with them. This is kind of a... Uh, uh, it's, I would say, somewhat sword and sorcery, a little bit of also more standard fantasy um, with uh, a heavy bias towards action and uh, uh, lots of fun with the warrior priests of uh, uh, that you see there walking towards the, the tavern. And let's see here. We've got another returning character with uh, Lachlech Lamb who is a thief. This is definitely a sword and sandal style tale. Um, it continues uh, after the events of the story in issue number one and uh, sees him getting again into uh, some conflict that he had not initially planned for. But uh, a little bit of magic, a little bit of fun, and uh, definitely a, a worthwhile read. And let's get over here. Got a different shirt color on here. I asked for a, a darker uh, color on uh, this. And this is Homefront by Jamie F. Torkelson, who wrote um, Afflicted in issue number two. Uh, this is a totally different series, but it's, uh, uh, I would say, right in the vein of um, uh, urban fantasy somewhat. You've got a, a housewife who uh, is a, a beautiful wife, mother, and also takes care of the uh, extraterrestrial threats in her neighborhood. This artwork is done by uh, Delta Magna, who's popular over in the uh, the gun world. Then we have The Helm uh, by T.J. Marquis and Ken B. And I'm going to have to figure out exactly how the uh, colorist wants to be credited, but... Uh, I, Ken originally drew a concept of the uh, the helm, which was a uh, superhero inspired by the Iron Age media logo. And he, uh, uh, like, I guess TJ came to him and was like, you know, commented and was like, hey, man, I kind of want to write a treatment. And so it's just sort of uh, popped out. Oh, hey, hey there. We got, we got a familiar uh, individual, Ikthi. How, how, would, how do you want to be described in this? You're going to be doing the coloring. Yeah. So... Uh, Ikthi 5 down there. So uh, I can't wait to update this with colors for you guys. I was just on um, uh, Just Call Me Insane's channel earlier today, and we were talking about how much we like the uh, the line work and the inks on this, and uh, it it's really harkens back to uh, Ikthi 5. Okay, well, there you go. We're doing business on the channel, multitasking here. And... Uh, Let's see. So, but yeah, it, it's a fun comic. I think you'll like it. Uh, it's the only one with this issue. So I, I hope that you'll get a kick out of it. I also have confirmed that the uh, Dreaded Song of Clow, uh, we're also going to be having art done with that by uh, Marcos Rios, who uh, I'm just going to turn this light off. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on, but we'll see if that calms things down. No, it's the camera. That's not good. Anyway, the camera's confused. Um, but uh, the Dreaded Song of Clow is going to have some artwork by Marcos Rios, who did the cover for issue number three. I expect great things. This is, uh, I think, uh, uh, sword and sorcery, but kind of in a more Roman 
uh, gladiatorial setting. Uh, and then the bubble burst. This is somewhat, I would say, in between speculative uh, science fiction with a little dash of romance in there um, and a uh, interesting story that I, I really think is worthwhile. A lot of fun there. And Black Box by Sean C.W. Korsgaard. This is a uh, definitely a hard sci-fi setting with uh, a couple of old soldiers and uh, one talks the other into doing one last job. And uh, yeah, they they rediscover some history that will uh, rewrite uh, or discover something that's going to rewrite the history of the cosmos. Uh, Market of Double Call by Heather Santo. Uh, this is a real fun little story about a uh, apprentice who has to face her fears and step out of her comfort zone to uh, save her master. And then we've got Throat Swallowed Down. This is about a, uh, a journalist that uh, pursued a mystery and probably should not have, um, or maybe wishes he had not. We got Big Man Eater Owl, uh, which is definitely a uh, uh, heavily music endorsed name. And that is a uh, kind of a weird west with two down on their luck brothers. Uh, they've uh, captured a monster and they're trying to uh, get it to somewhere where they can make a bit of profit. And then we have our Iron Age media prompts, uh, Win in Boston by uh, K.M. Thomas. This is a uh, urban fantasy, uh, fun little story based on, um, I think the companion prompt and the infinite forest uh, by Noah R. Uh, this is a, another sort of speculative sci-fi. I'm trying to remember, I think it's the pattern. I'm, I can't remember what the, the, uh, prompt name was, but, uh, both of those great little reads. And, uh, with that, I will go ahead and stop gabbing about, uh, Anvil for the moment. I'm going to go look at the, look at chat and then we'll get down to this fantastic piece. This is sitting at zero reviews on, uh, on steam guys. Okay. I think I paid $2 for it. So, um, there we go. So I, I really hope that we can, can, uh, can take the time to make sure that we, we give this the real, uh, the, the thought process that we need to, right, I'm going to look back, uh, howdy side showman. Oh, Hey there. Uh, sorry, associate Richard with how I feel at the end of two 16 H E shifts on hour shifts. I'm not sure if that's uh good or bad, John, but I'm just going to say, I'm glad that you're here. At least I think you are, or I think I am. Uh, and you should be glad to be here. Uh, glad you like the mecha suits. Hey, Wrangler. Hey, good to see you. And Bat Sauce. Also good to see you. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I. Jamie Torkelson has a problem where she sends me stuff and I want to publish it. I like it. This game is, it appears to be, it's not supposed to be, it's in English. And if you'll notice, the game is not actually paused. It's just in slow-mo. Oh my goodness. I think there's actually a monster coming to get me. I don't know what's going on, guys. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just going to unpause. I'm going to, uh, well, I'm pushing buttons. Hold on. Okay. Uh, oh, sweet Lord. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. Holy smokes. Oh. So if you, the pause menu, what the heck is that? Okay. Is there any, is there any, is, does anybody see any objectives? Am I almost out of ammo? I am almost out of ammo. Holy smokes. I also, I have a treat for you guys. Oh Lord. These little, where do these things spawn from? They just, pop out from behind you oh no oh no well hold on uh f an acr what is, what year is this oh okay a coin oh my gosh that's awful oh do i have to pick up coins okay this is that's that's tort dude what the f okay okay Okay. Okay. Uh, do I have like, oh, a piece of candy. Do I have a melee? 
Can I jump? I can jump. Okay. Uh, it's like a gorilla. He didn't drop a coin. Oh my goodness, they just pop out of the walls. Okay, I. you know what, chat? I love you, but I don't know what you're saying. As this is a... Okay, at least I can hip fire with this thing. Okay. Okay, he's a little creepy dudes. I don't, I don't much care for him. Oh, 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 problem, problem. Do I have, do I have a health bar? Oh, I do. I'm getting strawberry jam. Oh my goodness, get out from behind me. Okay, is that, is that my stamina meter? Do I, where do I get more ammo? Oh my gosh, get out of here. Of 10, is that bad? Is it counting makes me anxious? I'm out of ammo. What did I count down to? Oh my goodness, another one, huh? Do I do something? Okay. Let's see what these do. Hmm. Okay. What uh what would you say this is? Does anybody know what does anybody know? How Okay, I don't know. I'm having a good time so far. Uh, okay, I don't have enough coins. Is that uh, bullets? A CS5. What? Uh, is that... Can I just buy more bullets? What does that do? Oh, that's definitely a sound bar or something. Okay, I can't. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Shoo. Oh, did I did all my ammo re. Oh, crud. Okay. Well, you know what? Don't worry, guys. I do have a backup game. If for some reason you don't, you guys aren't in sufficiently entertained by this. I really can't tell you if you're, I don't know if you're entertained or not. Um, I mean, I have a feeling like this is basically just a complete asset flip. You know what I mean? Like, I almost want to go on the Unity store and find out where these came from. Whoa! I might have just, like, made this guy profitable. You know what I mean? Like, single-handedly. I think I paid $2. Holy smokes, I'm almost dead. Don't worry, guys. I actually have a Mortis button now. Uh, What is that? What is that? F. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. This is awful. I'm very unhappy with myself. This is horrible. Okay, we're going to run around in a circle and get a shotgun. Oh, 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 piece of candy. I hope you guys are having fun. I, I, I see chat moving. Running at 120 FPS. Yeah, it's at 130 right now. That's great. I mean, I don't know. It's got some charm to it. Where'd they go? The amount of jam. Oh, my gosh. Wherever he, uh, I'm sure, totally legally acquired these assets from. I mean, uh, you know, it's pretty good. Oh, my gosh. Why would I? Hey, that's right. Do I get more? Do I get more ammo? I don't know, but I got a lot of jam. I'm very strawberry e. I don't much care for it. I got 400 bucks. Please. Go to the nearest. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. But this, this is in English. Better to fight for something than live for nothing. General George S. Patton. Restart or quit to desktop. All right. Well, that was interesting. There you guys. Did you guys hear that? I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go back and read some chat here because this is too much fun. Uh, let's see here. Mortis. Yeah, you're going to get that. You got it. Okay. Mario coins. They just dropped giant Mario coins. Oh, man. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Yeah, I know. I knew it was going to be chaos. Is there music? No. I mean, oh, you know what? There is gunshots. I, oh, my goodness. I can't believe I denied you guys the audio experience. I'm sorry. I've been... I'm sorry. Total failure. Zero description. Murder. Death arena. Yeah. Bare hands. I know. Okay. This is too funny. Yeah, I know. We need a multiplayer of this. It, what a meme game. I know. I'm, I'm tempted to give it a thumbs up. Messaged you on Kilted. Okay, I will check that. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. I have, like, too many places that people can contact me. I like all of you, but not always good at keeping track of everything. This is probably Game of the Year edition. Yeah, you're right. You guys did hear the Mortis. Okay, good. Okay, listen, we're going to give this one more try just so that, you know, it's loud. Okay, the audio is creepy. It's, it's loud. Okay. The Mortis was loud or the game is loud? It's pretty freaking loud, isn't it? I think it is. Usually I have it turned it way down for you guys. I just love that the nothing, there's no English until you die. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll definitely get one more for the audio. Is that a good, is that a good audio volume? I, I love that I'm just constantly like, what is up with the camera and suddenly not understanding how to do white balance anymore? Can you, can you focus on things? Maybe, maybe this is the problem. No, that can't be the problem. Hmm. I'm going to do that. We'll see. It's still confused. Whatever. Okay, it seems good now. All right. Well. Ten, okay. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, oh, three, I, I, I two, have different weapons. One. Okay. Well, first of all, we're going to use that awesome Colt Python here. Okay. My gosh. Okay, okay. Hold on. Maybe we're not going to waste our time with that thing. Probably seven. I don't know who just shrugs those off. Okay. This is not a game for... Oh, my sweet lord. You know, there's some kind. There's a certain charm. I don't know how you guys feel. There's a charm to um, the constantly running in a circle backwards. Did anybody ever play Armorines on the N64? I played Armorines on the N64, and that was that's how this game was. Or that's how that game was. You would just run in a circle. Hey, sweet reload animation. I wonder. Oh. Okay, I need to find some coins for one thing. Man, I wish I could do a reload like that. Of course, I need a coin. Oh my gosh. Oh no, oh no, I've made a terrible mistake. Run, run, why am I not running anymore? Oh, I can't run whenever I'm aiming down sights? Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. We got a lot more game than we did on the previous run through. Maybe I'm getting worse in this game as time goes by. Uh, oh no, that's the sniper rifle. Oh, sweet. 
Sweet lord. Okay. So I should be able to just shoot something anywhere and have it explode into gore with this. Oh my gosh, just didn't even flinch. Okay, what's up? Anything? Oh. Oh, when I shoot the gun, it's super loud. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, hold on. I'll try and do that before they run up and get me. Uh, and you're like slow motion pause me. Yeah, I know. And it's, it still tracks it, even though I'm not on the... I like the shotgun. Okay. Oh, go. Oh. I need a I need a jam removal service. Is there anybody who takes jam off of faces? Okay. Oh, I shoot every time I click. What? Somebody said no, and that's Herman. <laughs> oh well thank you, Herman. You're useless. Okay. What do you think this does? Do you what do you think the death thing does? I don't know. I think it suddenly kills you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. All right, get out of here. Shoot. All right. There's a... Next week... Oh, my gosh. Now we got a Stalin quote. Oh, that is true. They do count down in English. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hey there, skunks. Good to see you. All right. Hey, Jersey. Thanks for swinging by. Okay. All right. So I'm going to play something. Oh, yeah, you're right. There we go. Um, okay. I am going to do this real quick. Okay, well, I'm going to get the other game set up here. Which should be, uh, you know, a little bit more at least visually stimulating. Although, I don't know if it's going to have the same charm. Uh, I definitely am going to give the... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if I should give Texas Border Guard a uh, recommend or not. It, it's I need like a three out of five stars on that. It, it has heart, but... Uh, you know, I uh, I still kind of feel like there's some some downsides. Okay, hold on. All right, turbo overkill. Cool it. Well, I don't. I mean, I don't think those were Mexicans. I mean, I, based on my experience, I I would say that those are probably not. Uh, not Mexicans. All right. Okay. Figured out the game. All right. This is a, uh, a game called Turbo Overkill. Let me know how that sounds in terms of overall volume. It's got pretty good music. So let me let me know what you think about that. Oh yeah, I want to know how they pick those quotes. That's the same here. Same here. I, I'm I'm curious about that. <laughs> all right so uh for a, a little bit long i feel like we we gave that one the, the old college try it uh it has heart but i just want a little bit more uh a little bit more out of it uh namely menus in english um what what else would be my big ask uh ammo definitely ammo. i don't mind running in a circle shooting at things that are chasing me but uh, I want like like a, a jam removal tool. Um, yeah, that's what I want. Menus like some English can it can be bad English. I don't care. English um, jam removal uh, at the end of a round or somehow, and uh, and then a way to get ammo. So that that's it. 
Yeah, that might have been that might have been Chat GPT. This might have that genuinely might have been a Chat GPT asset flip game. That'd be impressive. Okay, I think I'm leave studio mode. Nobody's complaining about anything at the moment, which is a minor miracle. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna do. We're gonna do the the campaign here. Because I think this is going to be one that I, like, come back to. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, probably. That's what I should probably have. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to go regular Joe here. All right. So this is like a, a cyberpunk dystopia, but uh, kind of, like, turned all the way up to past 11. We're on, like, 12 or 13 or something. And you got like a chainsaw leg. It's a, it's a good, uh, like over the top game. So this is going to be one of the ones that I like come back to if I'm trying something out and it just doesn't quite, uh, doesn't quite work, but I'm going to let this play and, uh, eat my, eat a cookie. So hopefully this is a good cutscene. Tell me if it's too quiet. Sir. Best make this a quick trip. Paradise isn't a place you want to be for long. The Sin Virus is rapidly spreading its tendrils across the city. Your mission, burn it out. Purge it at absolutely any cost. Good hunting, sir. Oh. Okay. Um... All right, so I don't have to do like silly things like reload here. If I've learned anything, it's that uh... I was gonna say if I've learned anything, it's to always go in the opposite direction where you're supposed to. Well, I'm uh, oh well. Okay, hold left control while moving to slide under the gap. Okay. I did play a little bit of... Uh... Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, that's terrible. I hate... You know what? Okay, hold on. I... Changed the controls on my... Desktop upstairs whenever I tested this in... Uh... Endless mode. Rebind controls. There we go. Okay, so... Okay, good. Okay, good. All right. So you do like a slide, like a dash, crouch dash, chainsaw attack. Left shift. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, lock on firing mode. Oh, okay, interesting. Am I able to get up there? Probably. Wait, here we go. What's that? All right, everything just explodes into gore. I like that. I'm supposed to go back here. Got a cat. Unlike some cat graffiti. Uh, yeah, this is definitely very high. Um, maximum mortis, yeah. Uh, this is called Turbo Overkill, I think is what it's called. Um, oh, geez, I'm scared of that. Okay. All right, so... Oh, hold on. What do I do? E. I kind of felt like I was supposed to jump on that thing. 
Oh well, whatever. Okay, chainsaw damage. Okay, I do know how to do that. Ooh, a uh, shotgun. Whoa. All right. And you can just uh, chainsaw things with your leg. I like it. It's This is like definitely the kind of like hyper speed twitch shooter that I would have loved as a younger man with uh, non 30 year old uh, reaction speeds and a amount of time to get extremely over attuned to games. Am I all good? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Enter the elevator. Let me get the ammo. Oh, that elevator. Okay. Weapon wheel. Hold Q to access the weapon wheel. Okay. Oh, it, anytime something tells you about quick saving, I assume that means quick save is wise. The nearby bio core is located in the basement of the facility. Yeah. A fan of Metroidvania. I am not a huge Metroidvania. Should I go for a 357 Magnum or a 357 lever action? I mean, that's like two totally different things. Oh, hey there, uh, knights. Uh, you dare stand before me. You who is but blood and dust. Blood and dust, yep. I am infinite. We are the slow humbling of time. We are the flesh. We are the virtue. Huh. Sin and synthetic. I I've never really seen that kind of. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe I've seen that somewhere else, but it's good. I like it. All right, do I go through here? All right. Seems friendly, seems nice. Giving me health, that's not a good sign. Give me a ton of health. Can I do anything in here? All right. Uh-oh. I got a little creepy place here. Oh my gosh, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was glass. All right. Can I just blow up? Okay. What is that? Okay. So I can blow some of these up. I, I keep forgetting I don't need to reload. Probably shouldn't be wasting my ammo. Okay. Lockdown, infestation. Okay. What are these? Health? Okay, that's health. Aha. Uh -huh. Like the way your little chainsaw leg just pops out there. All right, am I good? Infestation. Okay. Maybe I need to get over there. Hmm, okay. Oh, there's a whole path up here that I didn't go to. All right, what's this? Gotta be something good. Exit level? I don't know. Not yet. We got a whole thing over there, okay. All right. Ah! Oh my gosh, okay, no fall damage, that's nice. Oh, I thought we were gonna have a mortise there. All right, hold on, I'm gonna look at chat for just a second here. Whoa. I mean, I think lever actions uh, uh, are, are lots of fun. They're always like, a good time, but... Uh, um, at the same time, did I actually blow all these up? Uh, 
at the same time, I mean, it's really, what is your, uh, you know, what are you wanting? It, I, I always think that if you're going to get a uh, lever action, it's not really a super practical gun anyway. So if you're fairly new to guns, I always advocate for 22s of whatever it is that you're thinking about getting in terms of the action. Um, if it's not a... Um, you know, if you're if you're just using it for flinking, that, that's my advice. And a 22 lever action is super cheap and lots of fun. So, or a uh, whatever, but uh, 357 in a revolver format is pretty good. I'm curious. I'm trying to decide if if I blow all these up. Okay, it would help. Can I even blow all these up? I'm hitting like invisible walls here. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Is this one? I don't, I don't know how to get the infestation. All right, cassette tapes. All right. Well, there's actually a whole bunch of hidden things I haven't been able to figure out, so no surprise there. I'm just gonna get out of here before I bore everybody to tears. If I can remember how, the, how to get out. Okay. Over here. And yeah, Skunks, I, I would look forward to playing it. It's not that I dislike them necessarily, it's just I've not as been, not been as, um, I don't know. I just haven't had as many that really super appeal to me. So. All right. Uh, let me, let me get over here to chat. Colt Python. I mean, that's a lot of money. Then again, most 357 lever actions are a lot of money. Rediscovered Oblivion. That's such a good game. I was watching a, a Morrowind retrospective, and it made me want to replay Morrowind like in entirety. Skunks, I'm super glad to hear that you're making progress on your uh, your game. I'm gonna hope that there's a cutscene here. I'm gonna eat another bite of cookie because I'm fat boy. Oh, never mind. This is a sign that I should not eat. Uh, zero dollars, I'll take it. All right, this makes it shoot like little electrified plasma ball things. All right, I don't have any money anyway. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I, I guess I should have. I don't know why I expected to get free ammo. There's some. Where's the fire on Brimstone, man? We need that virus purged now. Terratech stocks are in free fall. We can't pay you if we're broke. Yeah, you can like modify yourself. A lot of fun. All right, I don't have any money. All right. So I guess this is just all key required. Okay, requires a blue key. Do you hear that? Okay. the chainsaw a bit here trying to save some save some ammo whoa Been around for goodies think I can make that one whoa I'm I'm at the edge of the freaking map okay invisible wall uh oh Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, wait, is this not bad for me? I just assumed I couldn't swim. Doesn't seem like a swimmer. Oh. All right, well, that makes this a lot less interesting. I don't have time to swim around. There's a threat of death. I'm interested in trying it. Uh, come on. 
But on the other hand, maybe I am dead now. Holy smokes, come on. There we go. All right. Whoa, I missed that guy, apparently. Oh! Ha! <laughs> okay, that's too funny. I uh, chainsawed myself right into an explosive barrel. I think we've got maxed out on shotgun ammo, so that's what I'll use. Okay. What's this? Audio fucking log number three. It's to Language, me. young lady. Me, to me. Dear me, you stupid ass. Guess what you couldn't see? Around the fucking corner, idiot. You built something so great, it actually thinks it's great. Guess what happens? Sentience. Hmm. Sentience, huh? It has come to my attention that the, sin has begun to exhibit The writing on this is leaving a little bit to be desired, but, you know, that's okay. Autonomy. Ooh. Since evolution has taken a wildly unexpected turn. Well, I've never gotten these before. Actions are interfering with the intended functions of our biocore labs. Biocore labs. There have okay. There's been an increasing number of instances of sin tampering with crucial biocore data, compromising the integrity of ongoing research projects. I don't know if the writing is bad or if she's just trying a little too hard or I'm being cynical here. Focus on biocore operations is bothersome. Likely should I guess the voice actor underestimated Sin's ability uh, to optimize augmentation procedures, streamline production, and improve overall efficiency. Whoa, is the whoa, reason I didn't even see where this guy's came from. Alone at the top of the corporate hierarchy. It okay, is I'm kind of I'm regretting dextra. picking this Why thing up now, to be honest with you. Because of, freak because of sin, it's bigger than you think. Most of my than you think. colleagues refuse to acknowledge. Boy, she's sure wordy. She's very is not wordy, isn't she? Uh, am I alone and in this two, chat? Are you are you enjoying this diatribe of hers? A severe threat to Terratech's market position. And life die on paradise requires a key. Can you say? I don't know where the key is. My sweet lord, how do I make her I stop? Jay, to stop. Okay. There it is. Okay. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if that was like an intentional thing where they're like, we're going to just have her keep going. In which case, you know, good job. Mission accomplished. Oh my goodness. Where did I go? Okay. All right. Okay. I, I thought that was a key. What's this? E at the gene machine. Okay, do I have any goodies? I don't think I have any goodies. Okay. Can I get some goodies? I don't have enough money for anything. I've located another biocore in the vicinity. Once okay. you've purged it, I'll come pick you up. The bio okay. Core is a sin's connection right. to the physical world. We originally used the cores to speed up the augmentation process. Now, sin's using them to pump out whatever godless abstract madness it can imagine make the bio cores safe yeah i think maybe she was intentionally being obnoxious in that in that one clip she's not quite so whoa oh there i go again i've located another bio core in the vicinity once you've purged it i'll come pick you up Bio cores is sin's connection to the physical world. Aha! Uh -huh. We originally used the cores to speed up the Oh, I thought that was something process. else. Never mind. Now, sin's using them to pump out whatever godless abstract madness it can imagine. Make the bio cores safe by and sin will Blow up those like stupid storm. things, not because I want to kill anybody else, but because I just want to not kill myself. Okay. How do I get. Okay. All right. All right. Problem solved. 
Blue key. Uh oh. This means I gotta retract. I gotta figure out what it was that I would want to do. Focus fire. Okay, I don't have enough money for that. Yeah, a very loud one. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit. It was a bit much. I don't know if there's actually any value to killing all these dudes. They, they don't even seem to drop money. Is there like a whoa percentage chance? Can I get money by like doing criticals or get up there? Okay. Hey, okay. Why did he drop money? I mean, it's satisfying when they drop money. I like it. Okay, that's open now. Okay. Ah, shoot. Can I do that? Whoa, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Unpleasant little things. Did I get the thing? There's something back there. Okay. All right, half a go. I don't need that. Oh, here we go. We got a little. We got Mr. Beefy. Oh. Whoa. Did I get him? I did. He wasn't so bad. All right, after, after this mission's over, I think we're gonna be, uh, I'll be saying good evening to everybody. Let's see here, okay. I don't even care about beating some of those guys. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to purchase something? Why did it, why did it give me a little, oh, up there, okay. Oh, good. Okay, we got him. All right. The the chainsaw leg -like strafing is it's definitely like a big thing that I'm a fan of here. Okay. Focus fire. Ah, uh, I don't actually think that's really that good. Anything over here? There's a hole. Whoa, idiots. Okay. Oh my goodness. I do like, I like, overall, I like the aesthetics of this. I think it's pretty good. All right, so that's the end. All right. Well, with that, we've uh, cleared the sector. Found not very much. I do like how, um, how fast paced the game is. Obviously a lot more polished than our uh, beloved Texas Border Guard, but I will be watching that one for any updates. Um, let me see here. There we go. Sent me an email last week. That's not good. I, I saw it and I don't know if I read it, but I put a little star next to it and then I think my brain marked it as done. So I apologize for that, uh, Jamie. I, uh, I will go back and look at it because uh, yeah, now that you say that, it, it stimulates a little part of my brain that I realized I forgot about. Okay. Obnoxious member of my generation. I don't know what generation that is. I didn't get any particular uh, generational vibes. I just kind of got generic, uh, annoying uh, sci-fi. Unless you are from, like, the future, perhaps. Anyway. Yeah, Destiny is fun. I had a good time whenever I played Destiny 2 back in the day. But uh, with that, um, thank you guys so much for swinging by. Uh, check out Anvil issue number four. I still have the 2024 subscriptions for now. Those are going to be um, available through May, essentially. I'm gonna be kind of blitzing a little bit more that I will be uh, stopping those entirely um, with the exception of the digital one, because that's easy. Um, if you have any uh, questions or anything else, uh, please feel free to uh, just shout. And uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. 
and a great week. I'll see you guys on Friday over on uh, Drink with Rising. And I may be doing another live stream before then. Uh, so just keep your eyes peeled for uh, an announcement from me on maybe Wednesday or Thursday. But anyway, you guys have a good one. And I will talk to you next week. If I can find the outro. I, I, re, I reshuffled everything and there we go. All right. Have a good one.